I'm Josephine Banyard, a veterinary dental specialist in Chilliwack, British Columbia. This is Trooper and his owner, Jody. I have a series of uh, videos called Dentistry for Pet Owners on YouTube. They are to help you look after your pet's teeth and show you how to recognize problems in the mouth so that you can tell your vet. So, Trooper, do you want to help us? Okay, <laughs> so what I want you to start doing, if you're not doing this already, is with your pet, start looking at their teeth. All right, now, Trooper is totally used to this, and you just lift the lip, and see how I'm lifting the lip to show the uh, upper and lower molars and uh, fourth premolar. Um, Trooper's very good. Some dogs won't be quite so good, so make sure that you're careful and you don't get the thing. <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> okay, that's good. So. Hello, I'm Josephine Banyard. I'm a veterinary dental specialist in Chilliwack, British Columbia, and I'm here to talk to you about the general anatomy of the head of the dog. This is a plastic dog skull, and the clear plastic represents the bones of the skull, and the white structures are the teeth. There are four jaws in the head of a dog, and this is the upper right, lower right, upper left, lower left jaws. When we talk about the teeth, we start at the midline when we number them, and that's the midline. And this is incisor 1, 2, and 3. This is the upper canine and the upper four premolars, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is a large tooth. The last four, the fourth premolar is a large tooth. And then you've got the upper molars, 1 and 2. When you look at the lower jaw, you've got incisors 1, 2, and 3, the canine, and premolars 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the lower molar teeth 1, 2, and 3, and the lower molar is a very large tooth. The purposes of the teeth are for the incisors, they are used for grooming, display, and for holding small things. The canine teeth are to catch the prey and to hold them. The premolars are to cut through the meat of the, of the uh, prey. And the molar teeth are to crush the food, to chew it. If you look at this model, you can see the surfaces of the crowns. The premolars of the top jaw are sharp and the chewing surface of the molars are nice and flat so they're really good for chewing. Again on the bottom jaw the, all of the premolars and the front part of the first molar have a sharp crown and the back part of the first molar and the second and third molar are flat, so they're good crushing surfaces. So when you are counting your teeth, you want to make sure that you count the total, upper, lower, right, upper, lower, left, and add them all together, and in the adult dog, you should have 42 teeth. I want to point out a couple of things about the teeth. The length of the tooth is very long. What you see in the mouth, which is a, starts at about here, starts at the gum line, that's called the crown, and that's about a third of the length of this, the tooth. Two-thirds of the total length are actually in the bone, so in the incisors, that's where they end. They're very long. The canine tooth, see where it ends? That represents two-thirds of the total length of the tooth. There's the third that you do see. And the same goes for your premolars and molars. They have very long roots. Also, the number of roots per tooth changes. The incisors have one root. The canines have one root. 
the premolars have one root, the first premolars do, and the lower third molar has one root. When you look at the second and third upper premolars and the second, third and fourth lower premolars and first and second lower molars, you'll see that they have two roots. The upper fourth premolar and the first and second upper molars have three roots. What that means is that when you have long roots and you have several roots per tooth, you have more work for your vet when it comes to extractions. Thanks for watching.